That's where there are most of my customers patrolling. He said, you're not acting responsible. Hello. Ooh, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, okay, the U.S. is, oh, wait. Maybe it's not us acting irresponsible. Maybe it's Canada and Mexico acting irresponsibly when it comes to gas. Or maybe we should just put up that mirror, mirror, and take a look at ourselves. Yes, mirror, mirror is at the box office doing not quite as well as they would like, but Army sure knows how to look, make that puppy dog look sweet. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. So Obama has something about insulting people? Oh, God. I mean, he insults everybody in the goddamn universe. He's sitting there in between the president of Spain, Mexico, and the, president, and the head of Canada, the prime minister of Canada, and says, it's time that we started acting responsible towards the people of our countries, and we get them off of petroleum products. Let's see, Canada's main source of income is petroleum, and Mexico's main source of income is petroleum, and they look at him like, you've got a few loose screws there. I mean, he wants them to drop production of petroleum, which basically would raise the prices more in our country, but he's doing everything he possibly can do to make the problem go away by making the problem worse. And that, uh, that, that actually, but if you understand that logic, downsizing a business means you're going to be more profitable with less sales. And um, guarding, an oh really? That doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. And guarding angel troops in Afghanistan watch over their comrades. Well, what's happening now is troops are having to be deployed in, uh, okay, um, what it was, there was a, I, well, I know a person that was in Vietnam, and they had something called a Mike Division, which is sort of like the, the cavalry would come to the rescue of people when they needed it. And um, right now, we're having to dedicate soldiers to watch over other soldiers. And what happens is you have, you have one set of soldiers watching after this set, another set after that, another set. And eventually you have nobody fighting because everybody is watching the few people that are on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And Ernest Hemingway shows a soft side in newly public letters. I, I guess whoever did this has never know, know, does not know anything about Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway was one of the god-awful big lovers. Oh, really? This guy basically, he was most of the, most of the love care, most of the, the hooks in his books were all Ernest Hemingway. Oh. He basically had a, he, the only thing, he, okay, he died before the real mass novels become popular, but I bet you he would have out Barbara Cartman, Barbara Cartman, if he had the opportunity. Because his leads were always romantic leads, all of them. And Colorado governor stops controlled burns after wildfire? Oh yeah, they, they set, I think, they set, they torched about 500 homes for the kind of burn. <gasps> oh my gosh. And, uh, okay, this is what happens is, you can't start a control burn in bad weather because it tends to, you, you do the control burn when everything is sort of nice and, and mm, calm. Kind of calm, but no, we waited till the weather got bad and then it started to burn, folks. Ew. And Mitt Romney edges into mop-up phase of campaign. Okay, I, I, okay, only, uh, here is it is, they're running a contest now to see which Republican endorser of, of, of Romney is the is the whippiest Republican endorser of Obama because mm -hmm. well you know I think that we have to endorse this man for the good of the party you know I think it's time that we end this battle because it's making the party look bad nobody's ever saying Obama Romney is great they're all talking about for the good of the party or for the good of the nation we have to bring an end to all of it the problem is is that I come from an era when there was god awful floor fights for the presidency of the United States nobody came in with it locked up. But what happened was a few years ago, they decided that they were no longer going to have uh, floor battles on anything, so everything is secured beforehand, which means nobody watches the conventions anymore, which is the news people, the news people don't like it. There's no news, and if you know, okay, if you know Romney has the nomination, no, there's no news in it. If you know Obama has the nomination, there's no news in it. If you know what the platform is before the convention, there's no news in it. So therefore, it is a dead event. And Pope begins Cuba trip to improve church state. Well, yeah, he actually finished the, the Cuba trip because yesterday he was back um, for Palm. Um, he ended it, uh, I don't know what time it is, he ended it early enough so he could fly by jet to go back to the Vatican for Palm Sunday things. Mm -hmm. But he's going back again because uh, the, the difference between the new popes are jet planes. <laughs> oh, a mysterious geologic structure seen from space. Oh, yeah, so, uh, okay, here's a neat thing about it. Every place in the every place in the known world has been explored, except for all the places they didn't know about. Mm -hmm. They're finding more as the satellites go over. Okay, I, I worked on a project called Ice Station Zebra with an actor 
that we uh, met at the Light of the Hundred Stars, Ron Nickek, and um, uh, I played both Russians and good guys. The whole movie was based about a satellite that basically never stopped taking pictures and everything was being photographed. That's what happens today, is all these spy satellites are finding everything. They're finding things buried under the sun. They, they, they found a wreck off of the coast of Madagascar that they didn't know was there, you know, a galley underneath mud. And they, oh, they're, really? Yeah. That's what's happening is the spies in the sky are finding everything. Basically, they find, they, you know, if, you got, if you're sunbathing in your backyard, they also have pictures of you doing that, too, so. Mm -hmm. And pharmacies hinder teen access to morning after pill study. Oh, I know, isn't that a brilliant thing? It's just, um, uh, and it's not a left-wing pharmacy. It's a right, I mean, it's not a right-wing pharmacy. It's, it's a left-wing left -wing pharmacy. Because, uh, they're, okay, the way it works is the more liberal you get, the more conservative you become. Mm -hmm. They want to restrict, they don't want to hand out because the more you restrict, the more you control the population. Uh huh. And Santorum uses health care hearing to handle Romney. Well, yeah, because Romney is responsible for Obamacare. I mean, th okay, if Romney gets the nomination, which it looks like the party wants to do, they cannot argue Obamacare with Obama because Obama keeps crediting Romney as the architect for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd think that this guy would simply get up and say, you know, I, I, I made a mistake. It basically didn't insure the people in the state like it should have been, and it raised everybody's premiums, and we should have known it. That's all, he, and we didn't, so it was an error. And JetBlue's pilot's wife says husband not intentionally violent. The problem is the guy broke, okay, they're trying to go, they're basically, they're after JetBlue, so a guy has a breakdown. I hate to tell people this, but people have breakdowns. He had a breakdown. Well, pilots aren't supposed to have breakdowns. They do it all the time. They just don't always do it on an airplane. Mm -hmm. And Titanic's last lunch menu sells for $122,000. I mean, this is ridiculous. Same thing as, I could have sworn that there was a thing that said you couldn't harvest things from the Titanic to sell them. And they're basically selling 5,000 items from the Titanic for almost $200 million in an auction. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rules directly is set under no circumstances that's called desecration of a burial site. And uh, everything I think John Cameron and those people have brought up is going on sale, which means Cameron's got a whole broke, folks. Mm -hmm. He has to be to be auctioning off everything. Trayvon Martin King, a case exposes worse in the media. Oh, yeah. Okay, what happened is... The media basically decided, first of all, they, they knew it was Zimmerman, this is a white guy, and he killed a black kid because he had a hoodie. So when they found out he's a Latino, that has got the name Zimmerman, they yeah. know that does happen, there are Latinos, okay, I'm going to try to explain this. Uh, anybody remember Ivanhoe, were the Jews from, from Europe? They were, uh, how about, they came from España? And they were a lot of Jews. And guess what? How many people from Espana ended up with the name of Zimmerman? Mm. And when they discovered that he was a Latino, then they lightened his skin to make him look like he was Caucasian. And then they doctored photographs to make it look like he was. No, they got the they got the enhanced video and the photo showing he did have all the injuries that they said he did. Yeah. And uh, and they made the little kid was only like 13 years old, and he was a big hulking type person, not the little kid that they're talking about. So uh, Comcast, which owns NBC, is basically going to start house cleaning over there. That and MSNBC are gone. Their days of getting away with that came to an end with this disaster. Because anything that, ha okay, um, I think, was it yesterday, uh, 20, 20 Afro-American kids beat up on a Latin kid. Today, 40 kids beat up on, uh, on a black kid. And this is how oh, it's really? going to keep expanding. You've got to have riots. Uh, between these two ethnic groups, and the Latinos oh, are going to win good. because there's more of them. And top Obama, that's, that's just bad. Yeah. Oh. And top Obama campaign donor accused of fraud. Yeah, they said what's unusual about Obama's campaign donors being charged with fraud. They can't add, they can't do tax, they don't pay their taxes, they can't add, and they basically declare bankruptcy as soon as he gives them a billion dollars. We had Another solar company today, I think the largest solar company in the United States, got $2 billion declared bankruptcy after only hiring 100 people for $2 billion. Ooh. Houston woman's double life as stripper and journalist revealed. I know. I'm trying to figure out what's unusual about that. I mean, I've seen... What, because she's a stripper and a journalist? No, they, okay, they do it for stories all the time. I know, they do. I've known female news directors that basically go, uh, during, 
Okay, they have Swiss Swiss, period, and they during a Swiss period they do these sort of things. Even on publications have it. So the male reporters would go out. You know, I I found out what it was like to be a Chippendales dancer. I mean, I saw a thing. Got an awful guy. You know, well he danced in a gay nightclub. Well, no, he's dancing at Chippendales. It's not a gay nightclub. These are male dancers. Mm -hmm. But he got what he wanted because he caused a fuss. The same as this female. She's been on all the major news shows. You know, she's not. Doesn't have that particularly great a figure either, so. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, that it, often the best time to go for it is when you have nothing else to lose, because what are you going to lose if you fail?